Hi Pies fans, we are the two man team from Lully Street brought to you by United Petroleum. Now Riv, looking a little bit under the weather. Oh. A little bit of uh, fine was fever, hey? <laughs> good one, Wags, good one. Thank uh, you, here all day. <laughs> nah, look, yeah, it was a good, good win on the weekend, mate. We um, yeah, played really good for most of the game and against North Ballarat we knew they were going to come out pretty hard. Um, but yeah, we matched them, you know, kicking the first eight goals um, was, was a really good sign for us. So um, yeah, really good way to play the game. It's a way to uh, nip the game in the bud early. Just, yeah. Yeah, as you said, we knew they were going to come out firing, but yeah. what, what happened that first quarter? Like, how did we get so, so on top early? Oh, I think just around the ball. Um, you know, like you said here, Tim Broomhead was one of our better players and he was inside. Um, Gussie Borthwick as well, Matty Smith, all those guys. Lockie Howe was, was ruck as well and also um, or Lynchy as well in the ruck, so we really dominated in that in that contested ball area and got it, got it in our forward half pretty quick and, and, and our forwards went to work. Well, you touched on Timmy Broomhead. Let's have a look at the Lully rankings. 152 now, that's a monster game, as did Gus Borthwick. We'll touch on the goose a bit later. But Tim Broomhead, 41 touches, 10 clearances, now and three goals, not to mention. Three goals, yeah. Now, you've got a bit of a predicament here, Riv, really, because if Broomy comes back up to the seniors, you lose him for finals. So I'm guessing you're not going to be putting his hand up for selection this week. Oh, look, there's still a fair <laughs> few areas in his game he needs work on. <laughs> um, as you've seen um, in previous weeks, he's, he's got to work on his kicking and his work rate. He's got to lift. Um, nah, look, he's, he's clearly been a really good player for us over the last two or three weeks and, and deserves his... AFL opportunity. Um, he's come back and played some really good footy for us. So, hope all goes well this week for him. He's definitely putting pressure on those boys at AFL level. Another player who's been rock solid, Joshy Smith, 112 Lulies. Let's hear what he had to say after the game. I guess well documented that we need to really win every game to play finals this year. So, um, even though North Ballarat only won a game um, this season, we were um, really keen to get out here and put a um, good performance on. And uh, I think it was eight goals to not much at quarter time. So, we really set the standard early and. Um, uh, made life really easy after that. Obviously the young boys and Marty Hoare and Lockie Chargery, they've been here all year. Uh, you just know what you're going to get from them, they're really reliable performers. Um, Ash Close is another one who's um, been swung back the last couple of weeks um, with a couple of injuries to the AFL list of players and he's um, been really strong in the air and um, for us to keep them to 40 points today was a, a pretty good effort. You can clearly see the, the teacher in Josh Smith there, very articulate in front of the camera, but not quite our United Rewards card play of the week. That goes to none other than the Goose Boose. <laughs> Gus Borthwick, five majors. Fair yeah. game from a midfielder. Give us a run through on not only Gus's game, but how he's going overall in the program. Yeah, I thought um, probably early in the year he, he had a bit of a slow start, but he's definitely built into, into the year and playing some really good footy for us. Up forward and also in the midfield, probably a little bit thin in the midfield this week with a few boys going up um, to AFL level, but. Yeah, inside this week, um, you know, 20 odd touches, like you said, five goals, and also just his, his forward half pressure as well for us um, was a key for us on the day. So, yeah, great game. He was, he was first in here Monday night to watch his tape, oh, no of course. Doubt. So um, he likes seeing what he does really well. And um, no, nah, he deserves a credit because he played really well. And can cut a bloke in half with a bump or a tackle, can he? He's a, he's he's a big boy. Violent around the football. Violent, yes. That's Probably pretty not. Yeah. Hmm. Aggressive. Pretty, aggressive. Pretty aggressive. 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 Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> well, well played. Now, Riv, ladder, look at us. Sitting pretty in eighth place. As I said, you're not looking well, finals fever, but uh, one way to cure that is to play like junk for the next two weeks, but we don't want you doing that. No. Now, monstrous game against the old mob this week. The Cheese has been coaching pretty well down there, got the win against yeah. Richmond. Uh, how are we going to go about knocking off the Cattery, given they are setting themselves for two wins, mm. VFL, AFL? Yeah, look, it's going to be a big game for both us at VFL and AFL level. So, like you said, they had a good week, a uh, good win against Richmond last week. So, um, yeah, we'll watch the tape and, and see what they, they're going to bring Saturday. So, yeah, we, we need to keep winning um, to keep our finals chance alive, Wags. So, um, <laughs> no, it's going to be exciting for us. So, yeah, really looking forward to the challenge. And what better chance? We've got the double header Saturday. Last two Saturdays we're playing here at the Holden Centre before our games at the MCG. Pies fans, make sure we get along, pack it out. We need two wins to make the finals. What better chance? Get along, support the boys, get around Riv, get him up and about, go VFL Pies. <laughs>